Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Avengers Iron Man Armoury which is supposed to be an expansion to the Iron Man All of Armour which I got for my birthday earlier this year and I did try and do a review but it didn't work but we're going to do a review of this one so let's take a look at the minifigures this released today by the way which is almost forgot about the hot rod that's supposed to be there but anyway, we're taking a look at the minifigures here's Tony Stark it's annoying that you don't have the arc reactor printers on there this is a reused print but you do have the Iron Man face and the heads up display on the back and Lego has actually started using this hairpiece instead of the spiky hairpiece which they used in the Hall of Armour which is interesting and it's just got some dark blue legs anyway let's take a look at the two Iron Man suits now well technically three but you'll see that in a bit so on the box this is just referred to as Iron Man I'm pretty sure it's the invincible Iron Man but I'm not sure he has a very interesting back Thing with four arms. He's got some uh, trans light blue pieces on the bottom and then he's got power blast pieces. <laughs> Essentially they're supposed to pop off and you can shoot them at bad guys. And there are two bad guys included in the set. I guess I'll just show you them now because they're identical. It's just two aim agents with identical gun builds, and they both have scuba masks, and helmets, and gun metal grey, and yeah. And then underneath, all of the Iron Man suits, apart from this one, which is a micro scale version of this one. Uh, this is a spare one, the other one is actually in the build, it's just a little micro figure. And this is actually a different head, uh, well, helmet mould than the other Iron Man, new Iron Man Hall of Armour. This one is the helmet that can flip up, but this one doesn't, and the same with the next one, which we'll take a look at now. So on the box, again, this one is referred to as the prototype Iron Man suit, so there's a lot of theories going around that this is actually the Mark II, and like I said, just it clear one. Actually, I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah. This does look pretty awesome, though. But yeah, that's it for the figures. Let's take a look at the hot rod. So here is the hot rod. Um, it looks pretty cool, but it's it's just kind of a side build, really. It does have stud shooters, which I don't think they're actually meant to be weapons. I think they're just meant to be flames coming out of this, which kind of works. It's got Stark 5 number plate on the back, which is useful for custom stuff. And yeah, it's kind of it really, the hot rod. Let's take a look at the uh, burger box builds. It's kind of weird, but it'll make sense in a minute. And then the actual armor is. So this is what I meant by burger box builds. It's, it's essentially a box of Tony's toys. And then it's got a burger on top and some, some books or something. And there's the mandatory Lego mug and a piece of machinery or something, I'm not entirely sure. But it is actually a thing that he has in the movie, which is quite cool. I'm not sure which one, but one of them. And yeah, let's take a look at the armory itself. The sticker is on both sides, by the way. And here is the armory itself. We are going to be comparing it to the actual, uh, well, some bits of the Iron Man Hall of Armour in a minute. But first let's take a look at this set on its own. Oh, that comes off quite easily. Um, there are four stickers on the back of some different Iron Man suits. War Machine, the Fire Armour, the Prototype Armour and the Prime 20 Armour. And they all look pretty cool. The annoying thing is they're all clear back stickers and you can see like the air bubbles underneath which is kind of annoying. But um, as this is almost an exact replica of a build that was in the Iron Man Hall of Armour which is kind of strange but I guess he needs more than one fire extinguisher. And then there's a sticker which has got a sign about some burger delivery and then uh, that's just some general technical stuff and then there's a little uh, studying thing where you can have a look at the Iron Man micro figure and that's his phone from the film 
But yeah, so let's compare this to the actual Iron Man Hall of Armour thing now. It is definitely compassable. Um, it's the wrong side. There we go. Oh, we will need to take this bit off. I think that's just so you can put the neck attachment from from this Iron Man suit on there, which is which is cool. It does work. And then on the back, you see the striker print. It does it does match up in the in the theming with the other ones, which is cool. Oh, these are on the other side. That's different. Not sure why. That's supposed to be like that. Well, I'm not sure. I have to check. But, yeah. I mean, that does look pretty cool. That's only three of the things, and it's already filled up a, a, another whole uh, thing. So, that's cool. Uh, if you're wondering, the rest of them have been uh, custom-built into the Avengers compound that I did do a review of. But, yeah. Pretty much it for this review guys, thanks for watching, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see some more reviews and uh, CMF series and animations and sometimes building live streams now and yeah. Thanks for watching and bye.